Welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today I have five quick release knots that I want to share with you. So quick release knots can be used for everything from outdoor activities to practical uses inside your home. It's also just kind of fun to learn how to do them and you never know when you might need one in a pinch. So let's dive in. Our first knot is the manger knot. To start your manger knot, you want to pass your working end through your ring or where you'll be hitching your knot to, and then pass your working end over the top of your stationary end. Then you wanna take your working end and wrap it around the back or basically bring it behind the ring so that it is again on your right hand side. Then you wanna take your working end and wrap it to the left over the top of your stationary cord again. And you wanna do that twice. Once you have wrapped that around your core strand twice, your last step is to take a bite out of that working end and just pass it back through the very first loop that you formed at the beginning of your knot. This quick release knot was actually mentioned a couple different times in the ABOC or Ashley Book of Knots. In the ABOC, they had written that the cow is known as a slobberer. Although not in a class with the camel, she should be made fast with a hitch that will not jam when wet. So obviously this was kind of thought up as almost a pacifier for animals with bridles or any kind of gear or anything on them. Next step is the highwayman's hitch. To start your highwayman's hitch, you want to make a bite right in the middle of your cord, and you'll be placing that bite right over the top of your item that you'll be hitching to, in this case, my dowel. Your next step will be to take another bite on the left hand working strand and pass that completely behind your dowel, making sure that the working end of that strand also goes behind the dowel to the right of your original cord. The next step will be to bring that top loop over the bite that you made first. So you'll basically be laying one bite over the other, one from the back, one from the front. And then you just wanna tighten that up as well so you don't have any slack. And now your only working end left will be the one to the right hand side. So you'll take that working end, make one more bite, and you'll end up passing that through the loop you initially made at the beginning of your knot. And what's nice about this one is it does have two very definite tightening and loosening points. So once you have that bite through your loop, you can tighten everything up with your right hand string. Another super simple way to remember that would be the old righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you pull on your left one and that's how you will release that hitch. But seriously, the highwayman's hitch is a really great knot if you are trying to stabilize something on the go and you need to release it quickly. A good example of that would actually be a kayak. So let's say you're trying to stabilize it, getting in or out. You can quickly pull this out and get going. Our next knot is the halter hitch. Again, all in the name, this hitch was commonly used to secure horses and livestock. This knot gained popularity because it is very fast and easy to tie, but it is also very quickly and easily untied. So to make this hitch, you'll want to start by passing your working end through your ring or hitching point. Then you'll take your working end and pass that across the front of your stationary strand, and then you'll pass it back behind both strands you will then take another bite to pass through this rope loop to make your knot. If you do end up wanting a tighter knot or a tighter hitch, you also have the option to pass that loose tail end 
back through the bite as well so you can tighten that down. Our second to last knot will be the mooring hitch. This quick release knot is typically used for docking a boat, again temporarily, so you're able to just quick release and get going. To start your mooring hitch, you'll wanna take one end of your cord and pass it over the top of where you'll be hitching to. I'll then take my right hand working strand and I will make a loop by passing it over the top of my stationary strand and back through the loop that now formed from my working end. And this knot does only have one more step. So that is going to be taking a bite of that right hand working end one more time and you'll be passing that under the stationary strand and over the loop that was created on the left hand side. And then you can just tighten that side up to create your quick release hitch. And again, the mooring hitch can be released by pulling on the tail end that is sticking out of that last loop that you made. Our last knot is going to be the tumble hitch. So out of all of the knots that we've talked about today, this knot is going to be the most secure and the one that can bear the heaviest load. To start the tumble hitch, you will take a bite or loop and lay it over the top of where you'll be hitching to. In this case, again, my dowel. I'll take my left hand working end and create another bite that I will pass around the back of my dowel and through the very first bite that I made. And in this case, your working end will be over the top of your dowel or item that you're hitching to on the right hand side, and your other end should be underneath the dowel. Your next step will be to take the working end on your left hand side now and pass it underneath the one that was on the right. Then you'll pass your right hand strand over the other cord make one last bite and pass that again behind your dowel and through the loop at the top. To tighten this one up, you can pull on the right hand side of that final loop while pulling down on your right hand working end. And again, to release, you can release just by pulling on your loose end. So there are our five quick release knots. If there are any knots that you'd like for us to feature in a future video, definitely comment those down below. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.